Hey guys, it's me, which is your Seven here, and um, after you have seen my um, Black Kid video, well, <laughs> you don't have to watch the Black Kid video after this, before this, um, but you can if you want to watch all my Blender videos, and you can watch all my Blender videos in uh, order, I guess, like from my Blender animation to how to make a, a simple wave to how to get rid of the black head to how to make your character twist and turn which is this one yes I'm going to be showing you how to make your character twist and turn its body so yeah um, I already have a program opened up here using the harebrained skin I used in the black head video now um, I started a new <laughs> one and I got rid of the black head without you know getting rid of the head <laughs> just like in my black head video uh, yeah Okay, so this is how to make your body twist, uh, characters twist and turn. Um, to make your, to simply make your, your characters twist and turn, simply just select the upper one out of the two. Uh, select the upper one out of the two stacked um, uh, the bones. Now, um, you double tap R for this and as you can see it has four arrows this signifies that you are indeed turning the arm you now I just twisted the arm in a way that it's not supposed to be twisted but um, okay so we can simply bend the arm as well so if you get it up here just pull it downwards so yeah um, let me show you how this works Okay, so um, when you're bending the arm, you have to, you must, in order to bend it upwards, or it's like you're gonna punch, like you're gonna make him punch somebody. Um, you have to make it, you have to move your cursor up in the direction of the arm, so you can't just pull it downwards. Then you're just breaking his arm. Let's see, uh. See, his arm's breaking. Um, okay, let me just explain what this little bone does. Um, this little bone allows you to, um, turn the character and, uh, rotate him as well. So you can take a look at what's going on behind him, under him, above him. You, you can just, uh, never mind. Uh, and you can also move it around by simply right click and holding it. So yeah, you can just pull it out of here and uh, just place them down anywhere. Now, you have to remember to left click in order to set everything down. Um, and I forgot and I just found out how to get rid of that sapling that has been annoying me. And you, I don't want to remove you. Um, so yeah, just do that. And press Z, and as you can see, that little sapling is still there. And do the same thing. Press Z again. And then click on here on his bones again. And I right clicked instead of left clicked. And um, you can just bring him home to his barren, empty wasteland that Harrowbrand lives in. So, yeah, um, to bend it, just double tap R and. Um, and you can just pull it up and to so and twist it in any way and the uh, yeah. so yeah if you turn it to the side it's going to twist the arm if you bring it up if you bring it up it, it will bring the arm up if you bring it down it will bring it would put it back. So yeah, I'm making Harrowbrand do a little it's kind of Egyptian thing. Any of you have any of you seen the Egyptian? Now um, here it's different. Um, here you're actually making it go up when the arm is clearly going this way. Um, I think it you do have to make it go upwards. I don't know. Um, let me check. 
No, on here you just whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to make it go upwards in order in order to bend the arm. So yeah, uh, twisting the leg, kind of the same thing. So yeah, tapping R once will just allow you to move it in any direction. Double tapping it will allow you to twist it. I double. Why do I double tap R? So yeah, you can just bend his legs, and here you gotta make it. And here you just gotta do that. So yeah, um, twi making an animation is actually pretty easy. And um, you can also twist his body like this, like make him like like make him look like he's got an itch on his back that he can't scratch. Like ah, I got an itch on my back, I can't scratch it. Ah, ah, and make him spaz all out and. Or you can even make them do Gangnam style. What <laughs> one Gangnam style? Dude, I got at the end. Okay, good for you. Um, my sister's playing Roblox. We used to play Ro. I used to play Roblox before Minecraft. So yeah, I'm. Sti I started playing Minecraft this year. Still new to Minecraft. <laughs> so yeah, you can make them do the little Russian dance thing. This. See, he's dancing Russian, kind of. And... Uh, and black hat at blackness. Why does that happen? Uh, strange. Maybe he's trying to upload. Yeah. It's not. I only have one frame. <laughs> I don't get it. it. It worked last time. I don't get why it's doing that. Um, let me try this. Yes, the reason why I have two Herobrine files is because one is for the skin itself, and the other one is for Blender. Because three, I found I found the reason why it's blurry is because the pixels aren't small enough. And um, if you just make it larger, like. Te if you just make the file ten times larger, you, you get it clearly like this. Um, bounds. Uh, Russian. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's how to twist and turn the character. Now you can also make the character character twit turn his head. That's why this little bone is here. You can make him turn it this way. And then you can also make him look up or down or left and right. Or even backwards. That's creepy there. Whee! Spazzy head. So yeah, um, this was um, how to get, ri how to twist and turn your character. Um, just double tap R. And um, just left click to set it any way you want. Like, he's like, what are you looking at? Now, the creeper, you can do the... You can just make him, him smooth the same way as the character. Creeper. Place image. Um, I have it somewhere here. Um, it should be on my desktop. Uh, I don't know where it is. Um, hold on, I gotta start a new section, and while I find that, uh, goodbye. Alright guys, I found the image, I still didn't replace it, but, um, turns out that it was under my creeper assassin. 
in skin that I used to, ha that I had before in my early Minecraft days. It was like my first skin. I was so excited that I got mi that I got Minecraft. So I just went to find a skin. Um, Epic Man T Dog got me into both Minecraft and Roblox. Um, I'd say Minecraft a little too early. There they are, just looking at each other. Now for the creeper, um. As you can see, there's a little bone right there. Here, um, let's just flip them over. And there's a little bone right there. Is this little bone that looks like a crotch <laughs> that's sticking outwards? Um, oh, yeah, it, it looks like a crotch sticking outwards. It looks um, like a same thing. Um, basically, that is the same bone as your character has. Yeah, they're just there looking at each other. Um, you gotta be precise while aiming for these, um, while aiming for the turning bones, because they're pain to get, considering they're so small because they're vertical. So yeah, for the creeper, you can just twist his body like this. And make him do Captain Sparkle's TNT. Uh, I gotta make him do this. See, he's having a fun time out of himself and heroin. Because I'm a creeper, I will run you of your stuff. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> I just enjoyed TNT. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's how you twist and turn your character, um, and how to get the pixels smooth. Um, let me show you how exactly to do it um, on a skin that I don't have for Blender. Um, Alright, uh, let's minimize this. Go into my Minecraft skin folder. Um, yes, I have a whole, I have a whole folder for, um, uh, just not for, just for Minecraft skins and capes for cape mod. Um, so yeah, let's just use my skin. Open up. Here we go. Um, as you can see, here I opened it up two times. As you can see here, it's my skin that I now use. Um, so yeah, um, let's just create a new image. Uh, I use Paint.net. Um, let's see, 640, what in the world? 620, I swear it's 6, yeah, it's, it's like that, there we go. So yeah, here we are at, um, Oh my goodness. Um. Six four zero. Okay, there we go. Um, six four zero pixels by, high three two zero pixels. That's the length. That's the width and height of the new, new blender thing. What the what? All right. Uh, so yeah, we just uh, go into here, rectangle select, and then just click and drag all over it. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, we uh, bleh. Control C, aka copy. Now Control V, aka paste, and we just drag this to the new size. So yeah. Now, um, 
you'll get this little smooth quality. You're you're gonna want to go into pixelated quality, so you get that little Minecraft feel like this one. I didn't move. I didn't choose to move the pixels. So yeah, um, that's how you make the Minecraft skin fit for Blender. <coughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> mm, I love my skin. <coughs> oh, I'm fully zoomed in now. There we go. So yeah, um, that was how to get your skin fit for Blender and how to twist and turn your character. Anything the creeper and Herobrine would want to say to the to the friends. Wow, none of them show up. But luckily they do here, but all the bum but all the ugly bones show up. Um I better fix that leg. But yeah, creepers only have one point bone in their legs cuz you know they're 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 stubby. Their uh, bones are stubby. Yeah, uh, it's weird, but yeah. Sorry, I was adjusting the size to fit this area. But I'm um, leaving a like for Creeper. For Creeper Bob and Herobrin. That's what I'm calling Creepers now. Creeper Bob. Creeper Bob. Uh, I, I. But yeah, leave a like. Maybe subscribe. And uh, goodbye to our people.